Hi, and welcome to CadLink for Team Center. CadLink is a tried and true, trusted, partner recommended CAD to ERP integration tool for Team Center. It is a bi directional tool used to create, compare, and modify bills of materials and part data at the click of a button. By using CadLink, you can eliminate clerical work and increase your skilled engineer's productivity. By synchronizing your bills of material and part data with your CAD data, you'll reduce errors and inaccuracies and prevent unnecessary losses from scrap parts, shop floor confusions, and inventory errors. Here we have a bill of material in Team Center. Let's imagine you're an engineer and you've finished designing and you're ready to commit this bill of material into your ERP. Because CadLink is directly integrated with Team Center, you can launch it directly from the toolbar. Or you also have an option to launch it from here. Now, CadLink is searching within the ERP and comparing each of the components in their Team Center properties, such as the part number, the description, and the quantity in the model with the part and build material records found in the ERP. The results of the comparison are shown on this color-coded grid. As you can see, CadLink has maintained the assembly structure from Team Center, and the color highlighting displays the differences between the model and the ERP's part master. Let's talk about these different colors. Using the part number as the unique identifier, the colors will display if the part exists or not within the ERP. White rows represent parts from your Team Center bill of material that already exist in your ERP part master. Lines in green represent parts that exist in your model but aren't yet in your ERP part master. Therefore, these are new components that don't currently exist in ERP. Upon save, CadLink will create this part in your part master with the properties such as part number, revision, description, and quantity, and add this to the ERP bill of material for you. Yellow represents field level discrepancies between your CAD and ERP data. So by right clicking on this field, we can see that what the CAD description is and what the ERP description is and select whichever one is correct. When CadLink saves, it will push this field bi-directionally to update both the CAD and the ERP record. Rows in gray represent parts that are found in the ERP bill of material and are to be removed because they no longer exist in the team center bill of material. CadLink will remove this part from the bill of materials and synchronize it with your Team Center record. An example of this may be when you have updated your model or you've changed vendors and you have a new part that needs to be added, but this is the old part from a different vendor and you no longer use this, so you need to remove it from the updated bill of materials. Sometimes you have parts that are needed in your ERP bill of material, but aren't necessarily modeled. Items like this can be added to the bill of material by right-clicking the square and add a manual part. Now, these blue lines represent parts that are added to the ERP bill of material, but won't be modeled. And so it won't be represented in the Team Center bill of material, but will be found in the ERP bill of material. Now, how you add this part is you click on this blue square here and you can do a search either with, by part number or description. Let's say I need to add a different bolt. And so let's just choose one of these. I need to add this hex bolt. And so once this is added in, as you can see here, CadLink has automatically filled in all of the details that it has found from within the ERP, but you do, however, need to manually add in the quantity. Let's say I need three of them. 
now you can see that it is part of the bill of material and CadLink will flag it in your ERP so that it doesn't get removed the next time CadLink doesn't find it in the Team Center bill of material. Operations can also be assigned to manufactured parts throughout the CadLink interface. You do need to select a parent part and you can manually add an operation. or you can actually load an existing part template. Now, these bill of operations may already exist in your ERP, so you can just select one and load it. Once you've loaded these in, you can actually go back to the bill of materials grid and assign at which work center each part is to be consumed. Now, the bomb changes tab provides a summary of all the changes that are being made once CadLink saves. This tab can also be exported as an Excel file or to a PDF. Keep in mind, none of these changes have occurred yet. CadLink has not saved. In fact, our save button is grayed out. This is due to our messages tab. Now, as you can see, we have an error here says that the description field cannot be empty, which means we're missing a description in one of our parts. What you can do is double click this and it'll actually bring the line to the exact part that where it finds this specific error. All we have to do is fix the error. And you can see that the save button is now re-enabled. The CAD data tab or the CAD properties tab is a read only tab, which allows you to view the properties of your CAD model per part. This makes it easier for the engineer to view the CAD data without needing to switch back and forth between CAD link and team center. Now, if you look here, we do have a save checkbox. You do have the choice to not save everything Let's say I don't want to save these new parts because I haven't finished designing them yet, but I do want to save the other changes I've made. I can deselect these. And once CadLink saves, it won't remove these from any of the Team Center Bill of Material, but it won't create them either in the ERP. Once I am ready, however, I can run CadLink again and make sure that they are selected and then hit save and CadLink will push all of those changes into the ERP and create any new items that it finds don't currently exist. You could choose to push certain things like long lead time items into the ERP first so that your purchasing or other departments can get a head start on the work before the final design is complete. CadLink is a powerful tool to equip your engineers with. Why task engineers with mundane tasks like manual data entry when they can be focusing on actual engineering or design related work? Thanks for watching.